It's Indominus Rex versus T-Rex. Who will win our battle? Keep watching. Whoa, guys, great to see you today. Today, I got a set which I believe was accidentally released. This is the Camp Cretaceous Ceratosaurus Clash set. Keep watching to see who could eat more action figures. The Colossal Indominus Rex or the Super Colossal T-Rex. Cool. can't buy at any store oh uh, I I got this one from Mexico so I believe it was accidentally released there so this is from series 2 so which is telling us that the Ceratosaurus is going to be a big part of series 2 and it looks like Velociraptor Blue and Velociraptor Delta are going to be attacking the Ceratosaurus so at some point the Ceratosaurus is probably going to come after them and they're going to use the uh, Velociraptors are probably going to save them. So it's awesome. This was accidentally released and I was able to get it for you guys. So this is the Ceratosaurus Clash set. Okay, so before I do open this, let's go ahead and take a close look at this. You got a really cool Ceratosaurus, Velociraptor Blue and Velociraptor Delta. And meanwhile, the packaging looks the same. Uh, the surest way we're going to be able to see if this is from Season 2 is the scan point. So when we go to scan in the Stratosaurus, if it scans in, okay, then it was probably from Season 1. Maybe. Because possibly they put both seasons together. Uh, before, when they released Dinos earlier, when you did the scan points I mean nothing actually showed up so it will be a good indicator so this is what's actually in the set before I remove it from the packaging okay and make sure you guys stick around because I will have pictures of the scan points and we'll go ahead and add them to the Jurassic World Facts app I just did a video a uh, few videos ago where I uh, gave you the scan points for 108 different dinos, so that was cool. And in the background there, we have our huge Jurassic Park gates that were from Lego. Over 3,000 piece set I put together and our custom painted Indominus Rex is busting out of the gates of Jurassic Park. Cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out these dinos. I'm going to start with the Ceratosaurus first. It does have an action feature. So the mouth does open and close. Uh, really cool coloring, like a, a dark red, dark brown with a gray background there. The uh, arms have the same great movement up and uh, 360 and up and down. Uh, it's just, I mean, they did a great job on this one, uh, like they did with all their other ones. I love their coloring job. I mean, they just really go all out. Only thing missing on this run is a roar. It would be nice if they had added a roar into it. So there is our whole dino, and we just took out one of the Velociraptors. Cool. Now let's check out Velociraptor Blue. So Velociraptor Blue is pretty common. I mean, this is the Velociraptor Blue we see in so many different molds. Uh, no, no action feature, but his mouth does open and close, and his arms move up and down. So this is exactly like the ones we've had in previous molds. And then, Velociraptor Delta also looks like the ones we've had in previous molds. So both of those are a little disappointing. I mean, it's been done before. Uh, I'm sort of wondering if it's gonna, the scan codes are gonna come up as different dinosaurs or will they stay the same? Let's go ahead and check it out. Actually, I just found out something really weird about this Ceratosaurus. When I turned it upside down, 
you could see it has like a cutout here almost looks like it should have batteries in it so at some point this was probably supposed to be a roaring or it will be in the future because it looks like you could almost like grab it here and open it because it's the line all the way around but they glued it in so that is kind of weird is it a mystery so simply open up your Jurassic World facts app and scan right off the pictures I included for you guys so looks like our dinosaur of the week is in the raptor two of two weird why would they go backwards wow that is totally weird okay well anyways let's go ahead and scan these in and see if they will scan or not okay so our ceratosaurus did scan in which I wasn't really sure if it would so either they this was really supposed to be part of the first series I don't think so though I mean they didn't have the ceratosaurus really in this series I'm still thinking this is from Camp Cretaceous season 2 and it was accidentally released in Mexico but uh, as you can see I mean it is identical to the toy you do got a video clip right there from Jurassic World probably the one where you get to see it for a very short time and then you got the 360 view here and then we could go ahead and make it roar okay that's a cool sound and roar Sorry, my microphone wasn't close enough. Let's see. Okay, so there is our Ceratosaurus. Let's go ahead and get some cool facts on this girl. So, she mainly uses her horn for courtship and display. When large dinosaurs are not found, she can eat fish. She can hunt large dinosaurs such as sauropods and stegosaurus. Though smaller than T-Rex, she can run faster. She shares her habitat with Allosaurus, another large carnivorous theropod. So that's awesome. So we added another uh, dino to our Camp Cretaceous dino. So, so far we have eight of them. Let's see where the Velociraptors will end up. Ah, oh, okay, so uh, this Velociraptor Blue does actually end up as one of the Camp Cretaceous Dinos. So that is cool because that means a Velociraptor Delta also will. So 360 view. I mean, we've seen this mold many times, so it's like nothing very surprising here uh, let's listen to the roar so, standard velociraptor roar uh, let's see if do we get any new facts on her although blue is bigger a typical velociraptor weighs about 30 pounds a typical velociraptor usually walks and runs with only two digits per foot touching the ground she has relatively large hands, each with three strongly curved claws. Two different species of Velociraptor have been discovered by scientists. Velociraptors have a characteristic upturned snout. Okay, so Velociraptor Delta! So she is also a Camp Cretaceous dino. You can see she looks just like the toy over there but anyways let's go ahead and check her out so first of all you've got the 360 view there which you can check out for yourself once you scan it in typical velociraptor war uh, let's see if we get any new facts on her so velociraptors can both hunt and scavenge like all other dinosaurs velociraptors lay eggs Velociraptors are bipedal carnivores. Her strong sense of smell allows her to detect carcasses from afar. Velociraptors frequently eat sheep-sized protoceratops carcasses. 
Okay, so then the cool thing is we did uh, add three dinos to our camp, Cretaceous dinos, which brings our total to 10. Cool, let's check out some of the other ones. Looks like you're gonna have uh, Albertosaurus, so a uh, new one there, and then, oh boy, that's loading slowly. Looks like a new uh, Camp Cretaceous Bumpy. Actually, that one's already out. I haven't been able to find it yet, though. Oh, this is the uh, Baryonyx Grim. Oh, so that one's definitely in the second uh, series too. So these are the series uh, Camp Cretacean Season 2 dinosaurs also. So that means they did accidentally release one. So Gallimimus, kind of boring. Uh, we have lots of Gallimimuses. Monolophosaurus, another... And the boring dino, we have lots of. Uh, what is it? Ooh, a plesiosaurus. Awesome. So I wonder if that's going to be in the second season of Camp Cretaceous. And then Pteranodon, nothing special there. Circasuchus. Uh, oh, okay. So we're going to get a new colored Circasuchus. The first one was awesome. And then, oh, Sinoceratops. That one uh, I've seen on eBay. I haven't been able to get it, it's kind of expensive. Uh, the Stiggy Moloch, two of two. Is that it? Oh, no. Uh, another Triceratops. So oh, I wish they'd stop making the Triceratops. They have so many of them. Uh, Trudon. Interesting little dinosaur. Any more big ones? Okay, so Velociraptor 2 of 3. So we're going to have another Velociraptor, which will probably be the four of them. Yep, so Velociraptor 3 of 3. So it's going to be Blue, De Delta, Charlie, Echo. So that's it. Uh, so no other really cool big dinos coming out for the Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs. So it's time to see how hungry this girl is! Who can eat more action figures? The Colossal Indominus Rex or the Colossal T-Rex? Keep watching. Okay, and these are all action figures from Mattel Jurassic World. Let's get started. So we are going to play Jurassic World Basketball. So, first of all, one. Two, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 
Okay, so that is 30 full-size action figures. You can see here, I mean, she is full. Let's go ahead and check out the T-Rex. Okay, there we go! It's a tie! So our Colossal Indominus Rex and our Colossal T-Rex are tied. Who eats the most action figures? They both have 830. So, again, super easy opening. You go ahead and open it and you can see this girl is jam-packed full of action figures. I hope I can get them out. Let's see. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I like making them barf the action figures out because it's actually kind of cool. I mean, they will come out her stomach, but right now they are a little bit jammed in there. So I'm going to try stomach and her mouth. Let me see. Somebody is holding, holding them up. Okay, so now they're coming easier. So... Wow, that's a lot of action figures. 30 action figures in one of these dinos. So if you have no place to put your action figures, you could use one of these dinos as storage for your action figures. <laughs> wow, so that is all of them. As you can see, I mean, this is a huge pile of action figures and they were all inside of our Colossal Indominus Rex. Awesome. Wow, guys, thanks for viewing. That was a lot of fun. Have a great week, and I will see you on Wednesday for a new live video. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun video. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos and if you want to see even more go ahead and click the subscribe button.